Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a limited edition Mario game, which is three Mario games in one. So, we have Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. This bundle also includes the soundtracks from all three games, so you can listen to it whenever you want to from your Switch. Now, to start off, we're going to go into Super Mario 64. A very classic game, one of my favourites. I wouldn't say it's the best, but... Oh, it's just... A classic for me. It's just... yeah. In terms of difficulty, I'd say this is probably... One of the easier ones, probably, so... It's just, yeah, it started, it was, it was originally for the Nintendo 64, and now in this version, it looks just a little bit better, with some of the things. Not, not everything is better, I'd say, but there's a lot of things that just look so good. The quality, the just, ah, oh. A little, some of the te textures are just upscaled, which you can see. With some of the, but some of them are just so much different. Like Mario's eyes, they're actual circles instead of... Yeah. Anyway, Chow, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press B to jump. Y to attack. Uh, press A to read signs. Two. Uh, which you could have explained before you... Yeah, I think you can press any button to move the text along. But, you know, if it was the A button that you needed, it's a bit unfortunate to have it on the second line of text. Use the L stick, left stick, to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. So yeah, all those things that it just said are true. You can also jump with A, so... Now, read the sign with A. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press B to jump. ZL to crouch, A to read sign, Y to punch or grab something. Press Y again to throw something you're holding. So yeah, we can also punch and kick, I guess. And there's just so many things to do. We can also move the camera with the uh, the right stick, which I probably, it's probably going to tell us in a minute. We can grab trees by just walking up to them. And then I think you have to jump when you're next to them to actually grab onto them. We can just go up and down on it. And then jump whenever we want to. But or we can also, when we get to the very top of a tree or something like a tree, just press up again to stand on the top like this. And then whichever way Mario is facing, he will jump in that direction, so. Let's read this sign here. If I can get it to work, please. Thank you. Climbing's easy. When you jump at trees, poles, or pillars, you'll grab them. Automatically, press B to jump off backward. To rotate around the object, tilt the left stick uh, right or left. When you reach the top, tilt the left stick forward to do a handstand. Jump off from the handstand for a high silent dis dismount. So there we go. We can also hold down the ZL and then press A as we're running to do a long jump. Probably one of the most important things to learn in this game. As we step on this bridge. Good afternoon, the Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and we'll be filming the action uh, live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the rec recommended angle. But you can change the camera angle with the right stick. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. Uh, to take a look at the surroundings, stop and tilt R forward. Right stick forward. Press B to resume play. Switch camera modes with uh, the R button. Uh, signs uh, along the way will review these instructions. 
For now, reporting live, this has been the Lack 2 Bros. So yeah, as it said, we can use the right stick to move the camera. And when it's stuck on something, it will make a sound, a buzzing sound, I guess. We can also press forward on the right stick to go into look around mode, I guess. And then we can use the left stick to look around. I believe we can also press down to quit, quit out of that as well as B. And if we press da uh, down, we can actually zoom out a little bit. We can zoom in again by pressing up, and then up again to first person. I can also press the right button to change camera from Lakitu Bros to the Mario icon down in the bottom right corner. This just means it's a directly on Mario camera, it's not as free moving. So you have a little bit more control with Lakitu Bros, but a lot of people will probably use the Mario version. Welcome no one's home. Now get lost and don't come back. Okay, voice that we hear, it's Pro Bowser. We can also talk, talk to Toad here, which we can't even see because of Mario's hand. I'm glad to see you, the princess, and I, um, and, well, everybody. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars, and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars as you find them. Uh, you can use their power to open doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one with the painting of bob -omb, uh inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. Oh, that's a bit difficult to actually do that voice. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. Okay, thank you, Toad. Also, Toad goes slightly transparent when you're not talking to him. I guess it's said their their own way of hiding. But anyway, so some of these doors have numbers on them, as you can see. And if we go to do them, it takes the power of three stars to open this door. You you need three more stars. We can't open this at the moment. We can see how many we have at the top right of the screen. Also, the 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 stuff in the corners of the screen have been redone, not just upscaled, but actually redone, which looks cool. It's amazing. Before we go into the painting though, spoilers I guess, let's read these signs. You have to master three important jumping techniques. First try the triple jump. Run fast then jump three times. One, two, three. If you, if, if you time the jumps right, you'll hop, skip, and then jump really high. Next, go for distance. With a long jump, run, Press ZL to crouch, then B or A to jump really far. To do the wall kick, press the uh, jump button to, to jump at a wall, then jump again when you hit the wall. Got that? Triple jump, long jump, wall kick. Practice, practice, practice. You don't stand a chance without them. So yeah, we can actually... Uh, we can jump into a wall and then press the jump button again to bounce off of it. If we're between two walls, we can actually bounce between them. And there's also the long jump, which we've already shown. And what was the other one? Uh, the triple jump, right. If we get an actual better camera angle, we can jump, hop. Nope. Didn't do it correctly. So if you do it correctly with the timing, this is not a great place to do this. Let me find a better spot quickly. So if we go down here, if we jump correctly on the second time, it will go a little bit higher, and the third one is a giant one, so. If you get it done correctly, the more you, in, the, the further into the triple jump you are, the higher you go. You can return to the castle's main hall at any time from the painting worlds where the enemies live. Just stop and, and uh, stand still, press plus to pause the game, then select exit course. You don't have to collect all power stars in one course before going on to the next. Return later when you are more experienced to pick up different ones, difficult ones. Whenever you find a star, a hint for finding the next one will appear on the course start screen. You can, however, collect any of the remaining stars next. You don't have to recover with the one uh, described by the hint. Except that sometimes, depending on which star you select when you go into a level, will actually change the level slightly. So let's go into this painting. 
Course 1, bob on Battlefield. Star 1, big bob on the, stum the Summit. So we selected our star, and wow, you're, st you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob -omb, buddy. I guess that's what their official name's gonna be from now on. I'm gonna keep calling him that. Press A to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his friends in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press A. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing A. I'm pretty sure the game should know that considering the first thing you do in the game is press a button to move the text that you don't have to be explained how to do to do that. But I guess this was an older game, so... Back when this came out originally, people might not have actually known how to play. Watch out, if you wander around here, you're liable to get be splattered by a water bomb. Those enemy bomb bombs have I uh, love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob got his paws on, that, on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross that bridge and go left up the path to find the big bob -omb. Please come back to see me after you've retrieved the power star. We're going to do more than just retrieve the power star from him. Hey you, it's dangerous ahead, so listen up, take my advice. I don't know if this is a Zelda reference or not, and I feel like it should be. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this advice. Cross the bridge. Cross the two bridges ahead. Uh, then, then, watch for falling water bombs. The big bob bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bob bomb buddies, and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you you'd like to. I feel like. Just stepping into somebody else's war and then picking a side is not really the best idea, but these ones aren't attacking me and the other ones will. You can punch enemies to knock them down. Press B to jump. Uh, y to crap to punch. Uh, then, uh, and also press B, then Y to kick. To pick something up, press Y. Two. To throw something you're holding, uh, press Y again. So like this box here, we can attack that with the Y button, or punch it. We grab it, and then we press the throw button, which is the same button. And we throw it, so. And this box, if it hits a wall, will explode into three coins. These coins will disappear if you don't grab them quickly. We can see how many coins we have on the top of the screen, and... Yeah, we'll explain more about coins as we go along, probably. It's just the main collectible that you can find around the world. You don't get to keep the coins, but it's still good to collect them. To read a sign, oh my goodness, like you just did now. When you want to talk to a Koopa Trooper or other animal, stand right in front of it. Please recover the, the stars that were stolen by Bowser in this course. We can also punch these blocks here, hang on, to break them. That one drops coins. I don't think this one does, so not all blocks will drop coins. Uh, but if we stand on top, uh, if we're up here, above the block, if we jump and then press the ZL button, we'll do a ground pound, which does a very strong attack, I guess. Depending on what you need it for. Um, but yeah, you can slam things below you, which is useful to know. Tilt fo right forward, then, oh yeah, we know this. You'll usually see Mario through Lakitu's camera. It is the camera recommended for normal play. You can change angles by tilting, yes, we know already. If you press R, the, the view switches to Mario's camera, which is directly behind him. Press R again to return to Lakitu's camera. Pull the right stick back to see Mario from uh, afar, using either Lakitu or Mario's view. So yeah, we can still zoom out from Mario, which is probably the recommended for better players, I guess. But anyway, these are Goombas. If they uh, touch you or run into you, which they will do if you get near them, You'll take damage, and that power meter up there is your health, and if you grab coins, uh, you will recover health. You have eight power points, I guess. Let's read this sign. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step on the switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. So I guess this is what they're talking about, this red hologram thing. So we'll have to keep an eye out for stuff along those lines. 
Now before we continue, I want to tell, say hello to these bob bombs since this these black ones are, are gonna blow up if we get too close to them. They will chase you and blow up. You can grab them though and throw them on the ground to take them out. Just like that. Now, so some enemies will work differently. Uh, the Goombas around the place, we can actually punch and then they'll get thrown back and explode into a coin. I guess that's how that works. Um, and But these ones, if we try to grab them, we'll just... Or try to punch them, we'll just be grabbed, so... But going down this path, we can't go any further forward because of this bars, the bars here. And I believe, if I'm not careful, there should be stuff falling down the hill here. These black balls just roll down the hill and if they hit you, you will take damage, so be careful of those. Now we can take the, the bridge over here, or we could just go over to these elevators here. That we can step onto. When they get to the top though, they will flip over. Sometimes throwing you off, so you need to be careful about that. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Now, can I get up, please? Thank you. So yeah, this is pretty much everything that we need to know for now. Let me punch you, please. There we go. And we can just, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything you need to know. If you do run out of your eight health points, though, you will die, which takes you out of the level which means you don't get to keep your coins, and the level resets whenever you go back into it. And you will need... Um, what am I saying? I don't know. You will lose a life, which you have four of. Which is not that bad, because when you die, you just it just resets you basically to the select file select screen. Or the main menu, whatever it is you want to call it. Sorry, it's not that bad. There's not really any penalty for dying other than just having to go back into the castle and the level you are in. Beware of chain chomp, extreme danger. Get cl get close and tilt R to look forward for a better look. Scary, huh? See the red coin on top of the stake. When you collect all, uh, collect eight of them, a power star will appear in the meadow across the bridge. So yeah, that's a little hint at where we're going to find another star, which there's also a star in that cage there. So. Let's just keep going for now. This this bridge here is actually tilting. So you need to be careful which side you're standing on as it's tilting. Hold ZL to crouch and slide down a, a, a slope. I don't know if you need to just crouch to slide down a slope. I'm pretty sure if you just walk off the slope, you're going to slide down anyway. Or press ZL while in the air to ground pound. Pound the ground. Ground pound, you know, same, 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 same thing. If you crouch and then jump on the spot, you'll do a backward somersault. Got that? There's more. Crouch and jump while running for a long jump. We know this already. Or, or crouch and walk to... Never mind. <laughs> or crouch and walk to never mind. Well, I guess when you crouch and walk... Hang on. When you crouch and walk, you just slide. Oh no, when you crouch and walk, you just crawl like this. Don't hit me! Ow! Those are the water bombs that they were mentioning, I believe. So yeah, that's how that works. If we also crouch and then back press A to jump, we can do a backflip. Or backwards somersault, as it was called. Oh my goodness, what is happening with my everything right now? Anyway. The shadowy star in front of you is a star marker. When you collect all eight red coins, the star will appear here. Cool. So whenever we grab a red coin, which are different from the other ones, red coins also count as two. Uh, but whenever you grab one, it will give you the number for how many you have collected. If you pause the game with plus, you can also see how many you have on the bottom of the screen. Just with the amount that are on the screen, so... This also, when you pause, will show you the name of the level and the name of the star you need to get. So anyway, while we're here, we have these um, little log pole things here. We can ground pound them into the ground, but that's not really the best use of them. So let's just go around this one. If you just keep running around them. Oh my goodness, stop. Come on. If the camera would stop going absolutely insane. Hang on, can I do that? Please, thank you. If we just keep going around it for long enough, 
fairly close to the base. It should. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Or am I just crazy? No, come on. Hang on, let me try on a different one because this is weird. Please? There we go. Some coins will spout out. So there's little secrets like that that you can find. Okay, you can also press the... Hang on, the attack button while running to do a little dive forward, which also does damage to things or grabs them, so it's good to know. Another box here. So let's smash that open. We'll grab all that. Is this going to say the same as the other one? If you get the wing cap, you can fly. Put the cap on, then do a triple jump. Jump three times in a row to take off. You can fly even higher if you blast out of a cannon wearing the wing cap. Use uh, right stick to look around while flying. Press CL to land. Well, CL to land is just going to make you ground pounce, so you might want to be careful with that. Anyway, if we get all these coins around this bit of flowers, I guess, a one-up will appear, which will slowly try to get away from you. So you probably want to grab that quickly. And just another thing. If we stay in this, stay, stand still in the middle of these, this flower patch and the other one that we just were at, it teleports you between them. There's also secrets like that around the entire game, so... There's not a ton that I know of. I don't know if there's any... I don't even know if I know where all of them are. But anyway, let's grab that one-up that's just sitting there. Some one-ups will run away from you, some of them will go towards you, and some of them just stay still. But anyway, back here we have a exclamation mark on this switch here, because it's a switch. And if we step on it, this cage opens. Unfortunately, this cage will be closed again whenever we leave the level and come back, so... It's not a permanent fix for the cage, but it's certainly an option. Anyway, we need to avoid these water bombs and follow the arrow signs heading up this way. Let's read what the sign says, please. Don't grab onto it. No visitors allowed by decree of the king of the big bob -omb. I shall never surrender my stars, for they hold the power of the, m of the castle in their glow. They were a gift from Bowser, the Cooper King himself, and they lie well hidden within my realm. Not a whisper of their whereabouts shall leave my lips. Oh, alright, perhaps one hint. Heed the star names at the beginning of the course. <laughs> the Big bob -omb. Thanks, Bob Big bob -omb, for telling me that you can tell where the star is based on the name. Anyway, we need to avoid these... Uh, these bowls as we go up the mountain. Ow! Some things will do more damage than others as well, so you need to be careful about what you're attacking. Or what's attacking you, really. Also, uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? It, oh, right. If you fall from a great height, you'll take full damage. So you want to be careful from how high you fall from on in places. You can grab onto the edge of a cliff or ledge with your fingertips and hang down from it. To drop from the, le the edge, either tilt the left stick in the direction Mario's back, uh, of Mario's back, or press the ZL button. To get up onto the ledge, either tilt left stick forward or press B. Okay, good to know all this stuff. As soon as you grab the ledge to climb, uh, grab the ledge to climb up quickly, I guess that's the whole... Th I don't know what that sentence was trying to go for, but anyway. Also, just quickly, there's a red coin down here that we can slide down for. Which you don't need to press the... the CL button to... stop it from... or well, to start sliding. But also, if we crawl up this slope, we can actually not slide down it. This is kind of pointless though because of how long it takes, so I'm just going to get rid of that. You can also accidentally slide forward, which is a little bit harder to control because of, like, yeah, I don't actually know how to explain how difficult it is to control the, the like, f the belly slide, but anyway. So, got to be careful of these holes because the balls will spawn inside of them. Jump over that. 
this black bar bomb here is not attacking us, but we can grab it and throw it. And whenever it respawns, when we get too far away from it, it will, um, it will actually be a normal bomb bomb and actually chase you and attack you, so. Anyway, let's grab some of these coins and let's head up this way. Oh my goodness, what is happening right now? Actually, I know what's happening and it's upsetting me a lot. Okay, let's check the sign. Collect as many coins as possible. They'll refill your power meter, which is your health. You can check how how uh, to see how many coins you've collected in each of the 15 enemy worlds. You can also recover power by touching the spinning heart. The faster you run through the heart, the more power you will recover. So, let's see if I can get hit by this ball. Oh, I missed. That's unfortunate. It's a bit weird with the collision on these balls, but I'm guessing it has something to do with most of the shadow. So, if you want to... Because they're, they're flat images, but it looks like they're round, so... Anyway, if we run through this heart, we'll recover our health. This is a... Is this, this, the, the heart is just gonna heal you forever, so you, you can just do that as much as you need to. If we actually stand inside of these holes, though, where the, or, the balls spawn in, it actually teleports you. Which is very important to know, because it's very useful. You can basically skip halfway up the mountain, just like that. Anyway, we're about to reach the top of the mountain, which we could jump up to get to, but I'm just gonna walk around, since I can. You don't have to go all the way up, just till the slopes are in your favor. I'm the Big bob Lord of All Blasting Matter, King of Kabooms, the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my Imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. So, as he says, says he's gonna walk towards us, and if we get behind him and grab, we can actually pick him up. We can throw him off the mountain as well, but that does nothing to him. He just jumps back up, no damage done to him. But if we throw him on the ground, or the grass up here, so that will actually do damage to him. And as, whenever you throw him on the ground again, he'll get back up and try to look at Mario. And until he actually gets a good look at Mario, he will be directly looking at you. So you actually have to stand still before he's not going to be looking at you fast enough. So that's all you need to know. Just need to throw him on the ground three times. Wh what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb King? You might be fast enough to ground me. But you will have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. A bit of the third wall broken. But it's there because... To tell you that, because now King bob has gone, basically. This is the only course, level, the star on the course you can select to actually have him appear. So, with that, let's take our star, power star. Here we go. After you finish a level, it will count the coins you collect, and for every 50 coins you collect in the level, you get an extra life. Let's save and continue. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. I don't know if that's supposed to be Peach or the Toads. I think it's a little bit of both. Maybe. I, I always imagined it as being Peach, but... It does sound like it's actually Toad, so... But now that we have a one star, we can open two more doors, the one down there, and the one up here. So let's do that. Whenever you open a door for the first time, a star will spin in front of it, and reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. 
And now we can just open that faster and all that. But anyway, in here we have some glass uh, things, glass panels, I don't know, coloured glass with peach on them. And let's read this sign here. Mario, my castle is in great peril. I know that Bowser is in is the cause, and I know that only you can stop him. The doors in the castle uh, have that have been sealed by Bowser can be opened only with, with power, star power. But there are secret paths in the castle, paths that Bowser hasn't found. One of those paths is in this room, and it holds one of the castle's secret stars. Find that secret star, Mario. It will help you on your quest. Please, Mario, you have to help us. Retrieve all of the power stars in the castle and free us from this awful prison, please. Okay, well, this glass window over here is actually a warp to a level for us. This is what's called the Princess's Secret Slide. We have this blue switch here, or blue coin switch because that's the coin icon on it. But it's blue. And we have this slide down here. Just there. Let's read this sign first though. Oh my goodness, if I can actually get into position. Welcome to Princess Toadstool's Secret Slide. There's a star hidden there here that Bowser couldn't find. When you slide, tilt forward to speed up, pull back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you'll win the star. So, that sounds like there's only one star here, but there are actually two. But first, let's ground pound this blue coin switch and go fast because when you hit one of those, blue coins will appear, each one counting for as five blue coins. And if you take too long though, they will disappear. Now you want to also be careful in here because if you fall off, you will die from falling into the pit. There's a few 1-ups along the way that you can get, and if, obviously if you collect enough coins, you get another 1-up anyway. And here we are at the end. And I believe if you actually slide all the way to here, a 1-up will appear, but it will, it will run away from you. You may also have noticed that there's a timer. I'm not going to be coming back for that in just a second. It was saying that we need to be fast for a star. But we don't need to for this star, so let's grab this one. Here we go. One of the castle secret stars is what it's titled as. So let's head back up there and actually show what happens if we go fast. I hope I can do it well enough. The blue coin switch isn't necessary, but it's there if you need it. Let's go. Gonna try and take these corners fast and hold the stick forward as much as possible, probably. Oh my goodness. The lag is my problem right now, though. Yeah, there's a lot of lag with my capture, which is unfortunate, but there's not a whole lot that I could have done before recording this. Anyway, if we get to 20.9 seconds or less, a second star appears. If you have 21 seconds or more, it does not count, and it will not spawn. So there we go, let's save. You've recovered three power stars, now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the courses as you please, the enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. So yeah, now that door over there, and this door over here, can be opened with the stars we have. So, now that that's all done, I actually want to go back into the first level, Bob on Battlefield to get another star there. Foot race with Cooper the Quick. It also tells you how many coins is your best amount of coins collected in the level. And now that we've cleared the first star in this level, I want to talk to these um, Bob Bombs again. Thank you, Mario. The big bomb is nothing but a big dud now. But the battlefield for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My bomb buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up cannons for you. So yes, as he says, if we talk to this one, 
We're peace-loving bombs, so we don't use the cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. I'll, uh, we'll prepare all of the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. And so, these panels that we may have seen around the level open up. Ready for blast off, come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use left stick to aim, then B to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto, uh, on, onto trees or poles to land. So yeah, we can do that. So let's just hop in and show that. While we're here, we can also not see what I was trying to see. But yeah, we can aim with the left stick and then just shoot to fire. We can go pretty far with it. Pretty far. Even grabbing onto trees, which is pretty good. I think if you... I don't think you take fall damage from being blasted out of the cannon most of the time. But anyway. Now, from here, we should be able to see on top of the mountain something new up there. Not very well, but we can definitely see it. And let's talk to Cooper the... this Cooper Trooper here. Since you just have to walk up to him and then he talks to you. Hey Mario, is it true that you can beat the big bob -omb? That you, that you beat the big bob -omb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Cooper the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I go, say go, let's begin the race. Ready? Go. We can actually select no and then just leave him. But now we need to make it to the top of the mountain fairly quickly. Long jumps long jumps are your friend. Just need to be careful not to get distracted by anything or enemies hitting you. And then just go to the top. I don't know if you can use both of the warps to go faster. But I do know, I believe, you can use... Um, you can use the mountain warp to get to the top before he gets there, so. And cannons do not count, so you can't use those, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've tried that, and then it just... It, once you get there, you just get told you cheated, so you can't get the reward, so. Unfortunate, but true. And we just jump up there, and let's go. The time, when the time stops, and the fanfare plays, that's when you've won, probably. If Cooper the Quick's all over here, you've probably lost. But you've got plenty of time. We can actually see him. He actually goes up a different path from us. You know that area down there with the... That's the slope with the bowls going down into the pit? He runs up that to try and cheat. But it's not really that effective, so... As long as you get up here in like... A minute, you should be fine. <sighs> wow. You really are... Fast. A human blow. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. And so with that, let's grab another star. <laughs> One coin. Great. Well anyway, that has been a pretty good look at the basics of Super Mario 64, but for now, that is it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.